want to also take the opportunity to speak to the public about the use of the roadways and the accidents that we have seen. I'm now, as we speak, standing on the Rosal Main Road in the vicinity of what we call the Elegant Corridor. And over the last two years, we have had... So skin further get dashed away in a Spanish town by police and a big chaos a start. You mad me if you say skin further because remember say when Serpy they do a video about skin and termite, you know, and call out skin. And I talk about how skin affiliate with termite, you know. Remember say skin go do song, you know, skin go in at the studio, you know, voice a song, do a music video. And I tell the people them straight say, yeah, I'm a termite boy. So, we can call it say, a skin done father. Yeah man, so people skeng dan and troops two tap dan in a Spanish town. The two man them were Tisha and black man left it to get dash away one time. Well not one time but in the same day or just a couple hours apart by the police. You see me? The police them go to work. The police them decide say yo them get rid of every single knackis and clappies Ah, uh, for the car and them. Yeah, man. The police them are putting some serious work with people from what they are. No jokes about it. Mm -hmm. Termite is a man we, we always hear about. We always hear say, yo, them man, they, them man, they don't laugh with people in a real life, bro. A straight head shot and them man, they go up on operation. Brawling. Is it me? See, they, the police them slap him, boy. And a lot of protests are going, a lot of people are come out and I say, yo, are innocent man, the man they never trouble the police them, the police them just take them out of the car and wake them up. Yeah, we are going always to them thing they just so I just so whenever you see Dan get dash way, especially in a feed them one tone. In a feed them one tone, I say it always go. Is what I say? Yeah man. People so the news has stated that reputed gang leader termite shot dead in Spanish town. A suspected gang leader reportedly led the top bank faction of the remnant of the Wandan faction of the clansman gang was shot and killed by members of the St. Catherine North Police Division on Friday night. The, the disease has been identified as Sheldon Walters, otherwise called termite. Walters was reportedly shot dead in the top bank community in Spanish town in St. Catherine. The circumstances surrounding the killing are still unclear. However, pictures circulated online of the dead body of the notorious gang leader. Yama Termite was considered to be the leader of the Wandan gang after the incarceration of Andre Blackman Brian. Brian was sentenced to 39 and five years in prison. Yeah man, I know everybody I go looking like black man. UPDA TED protest by DCS staff at Horizon Delays, Clans Court Hearing. Industrial action that has been taken by correctional officers at Horizon Adult Remand Center in Kingston has disrupted the start of the court hearing into the case involving alleged members of the Tesha Miller faction of the St. Catherine-based Klansman gang. Several of the accused who are being held on remand at the correctional facility were not taken to court on Wednesday, due to the strike action. The correctional officers are reportedly restive over the completion of their compensation review. Chairman of the Jamaica Federation of Corrections, Jafedco, Arlington Turner, said the industrial action by the correctional officers is currently restricted to the Horizon Remand Center. He said while the officers are at work, they are not carrying out regular duties at this time. Relatives of persons in custody at Horizon are also being affected, as they have not been allowed on the compound to deliver meals and other items to inmates there, and have been venting their frustration with the situation, as shown in the video below. Turner said a decision by the Finance and the Public Service Ministry to cancel a meeting with correctional officers to discuss the compensation review has further upset the officers. He said the meeting was set for Wednesday, April 10, but a day before that date, Word came that the meeting was cancelled without a new date being set. Our officers were looking forward to this meeting to ensure that they know where they are going in relation to the compensation review issue, which affects every correctional officer, Turner told reporters. The meeting was postponed without a date being set.
Now, the officers are concerned. So, this morning I learned that the Horizon Remand Center officers would stand up, demanding answers from the relevant ministry, he added. It is not clear how long the industrial action will last, but Turner said the correctional officers are well within their right to take such actions, because issues relative to the compensation review exercise have dragged on for that group for the past two years. Meanwhile, only eight of the 23 alleged members of the Hatesha faction of the Klansman gang appeared in the home circuit in downtown Kingston up to 12 p.m. on Wednesday. Miller is among those charged and indicted under the Criminal Justice, Suppression of Criminal Organizations, Act, anti-gang legislation. They are all in custody. Due to the delay with the remaining men being taken to court, bench warrants have been reportedly issued for them. Prosecutors said the 23 men are alleged to be a part of a criminal organization, the Klansman Gang, Tesha Faction, allegedly led by Miller, and reportedly participated in several criminal activities between August 5, 2017 and August 22, 2022 in St. Catherine. The charges against them include murder, conspiracy to murder, attempted murder, robbery with aggravation, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. Miller is the only person among the accused men who is charged with leadership of a criminal organization. He is presently serving nearly 39 years at the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center in Kingston following a conviction for accessory before and after the fact in connection with the 2008 murder of then-chairman of the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC, Douglas Chambers. The alleged gang leader is awaiting an appeal against that conviction and the sentence. Cops on alert in Spanish town, protest after gangsters fatally shot. Police say they are monitoring sections of Spanish town and its environs after angry residents staged several protests in and around the St. Catherine-based area. Reports are that two men said to be gangsters were fatally shot during reported confrontations with law enforcement officers. The first incident took place on Friday in an area called Top Banks. Reports are that a 44-year-old man identified as Sheldon Walters, otherwise called Termite, of Dover District, Kitson Town was killed, during an alleged confrontation. The police say a firearm was recovered. The other man was fatally shot on Saturday. He has been identified as 37-year-old Joseph Campbell of Browns Lane in Central Village. Reports are that residents, responding to the news, especially the incident on Friday, blocked several roads leading in Spanish Town. Several thoroughfares, including March Penn Road, Burke Road and the Spanish Town Bypass were blocked with with debris, some of which was set on fire. Police and members of the military have since increased their presence in and around the town to maintain order. At the same time, the police in St. Catherine North and South Divisions have also